if you want to see some adorable goats up close and personal, all you have to do is come by the Houston Arboretum because now through at least Thursday, they are here to help with the overgrown vegetation, which think of them as a lawnmower. Yes. Kyle Carr, you're here with Rent a Ruminant. It's your fifth, sixth, seventh time back with these guys, and they love it because there's so much that they can actually munch on while they're here. Yes, absolutely. And there's so much diversity here with the plant life. The goats absolutely love it. It is an all you can eat buffet for them. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for goats. We mentioned it last uh, a couple of minutes ago, but they can eat things like poison ivy and mm -hmm. the different berries that humans obviously can't. How is that possible for them to digest those things without it being dangerous? They just have a different digestive system, and our business is called Rent a Ruminant because they have in their stomach they have four chambers, and one of those is called a rumen. Ah. And that's how they are able to fill that up, and then they bring that back up, chew it some more, and then send it back down. So it's a highly uh, efficient digestive tract. Okay, so it I doesn't gotcha. hurt them at all. So when you guys are out here, did they get full? Is there something that says uh, they have so much to choose from? Like you said, all you can eat buffet. Is there a point where they will actually stop, get full? Kind of like they don't eat three meals, right? Mm -hmm. They eat when they're hungry. Yes. But how much do, would it take to fill them up? They eat quite a lot. I think there's different studies, but uh, about, I think, I would say like a 10 square foot area is about what they eat. And then they kind of lay down and they digest that and they bring up and chew their cud and then they get up and eat some more. They take a little bit, they sleep at night for a couple hours, but they still get up and graze even through the night. How many of the goats do you have here this time? There's 150 of them. And you've got a name for all of them. Yes. It's so funny because we can look at them, wa you watching them, and you know exactly who you're talking yes. to. Brian and Gizmo and Pixie. <laughs> How do you keep all your kids straight? <laughs> <laughs> well, my wife is in charge of naming them, so we take suggestions from time to time, but she really likes to fit the personality of the goat with the name. Which I got I think you. helps a lot. And we do spend a lot of time with these guys. We're out here 24 7 with them. Absolutely. And you guys can catch the goats here until dusk every night at the mm -hmm. Arboretum. Do they get to go to sleep at night? Or do they kind of just wake up and graze constantly? They really do. They will get up. They'll move around. Sometimes when I come out and check on one at night, they'll be in a totally different location from where I left them. Yeah. Uh, but they do rest for, for a time, and then they eat some more. Okay. Best place to catch the goats right now is along the Wildfire Trail. Christine, did I get that right? Wildflower Trail. But they will be moving. So your best time is just to come on out. It's by the, the administration building. You really can't miss them. There's signs up if you guys want to come catch the goats. I'm going to put the goats galore information on our website at HoustonLife.tv because this is so much fun for the entire family. I, Kyle, I really don't think that there's anybody who doesn't just love to watch goats just munching at their food all day. Yes, they, they're highly entertaining, they're, especially here at the Arboretum. They climb on the fallen trees. They play king of the hill. You know, there's little And they battles, talk to you. And they talk to you, yes. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for all the adorable information and you guys have got to come check these goats out now through at least Thursday here yes. at the Houston Arboretum. Derek, going to send it back to Studio B for you now. All right, Lauren Kelly, very nice. They are super cute. Interesting, they can eat poison ivy too. Huh. Goats yeah, are pretty magical. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks so much.